morning my besties welcome back it's time for me to like actually get ready for the day i've done my makeup i just need to get dressed but i just got in a package from petal and pop and so i wanted to give you a bit of a haul slash thought we could pick out my outfit from this stuff today i'm going out for lunch with one of my friends so just like a cute casual fit is the vibe I'm going for. And some of these items are definitely not like cute cash vibes, but I'll show you anyway. Some of them are a bit fancier, but I'll definitely wear like something from this. But a huge thank you to Petal and Pop for sponsoring this little portion of the vlog. I'll have all of these pieces linked down below as well as my sizing in case that's helpful and also the Petal and Pop website. And of course they've given me a code to share with you guys, which is amazing. You can use a code RACHEL20 to get 20% off. And that 20% also includes sale items which is always just such a bonus let me show you some of the items i picked up first of all we have this dress which is so beautiful i feel like it's one of those dresses it doesn't look like much when you're just showing it but once you're wearing it it's just it's gorgeous like it doesn't look like much on the hanger but it looks so much better on and it's also one of those dresses that i just know i'm going to wear to death it is just a black one-shouldered long dress and it fits me perfectly and it's just a linen material so i feel like it can be dressed up or dressed down a little bit too fancy for what we're going for today but gorgeous nonetheless then we have this top which i've had my eye on for quite a while it's just so cute it's just very frilly and fun i feel like this with like white linen pants would be so perfect this is another one of those dresses that i know i'm going to wear to death i have a few dresses that are a very similar style to this one from petal and pop and i've had them for years and i've just worn them so so much so when i saw this one i was like i absolutely need this one in my life because just like the pattern and the material is so beautiful it's like pink and white kind of like cherry blossom vibes next up i got these two items which could be worn as a matching set but could be worn separately as well so the top looks like this you already know i had to get this like this kind of style of top is just so perfect it feels like a fairy garden princess kind of vibe and that's always a vibe i'm going for and then like i said there are matching shorts you can just like get the top or the bottoms if one of them is not your vibe but I love that these are just like comfy shorts that kind of give the vibe of a skirt. Like they would almost look like a skirt. Another top that I just think I'm going to wear to death is this little one here. Just like a little strapless moment. Again, the frill at the bottom is just so cute. See, even this with like denim shorts, it'd be so cute. This is probably one of my favorite items because I just love how it like moves. Like look at the movement of this. It looks so cute. See, it's this like green and blue floral print, which I'm obsessed with. I wish I had this a few weeks ago when I went to Lang's baby shower because this would have fit the brief so perfectly it has little straps that tie on your shoulder into little bows like it is just the epitome of a cute little summer dress and i cannot wait to wear this unless you've been living under a rock you've probably seen these vests everywhere and i'm obsessed with them as is so many other people and for good reason because they're so cute you look so put together but it looks quite comfy because it's just like a linen which is so perfect for summer especially here in brisbane where it gets so hot but you still want to look cute so i got this one in white and then i also ended up getting this little set so the white one just came as a top but this one came in a little set with a top and a skirt so obviously you get the little black vest which is quite similar to the white one that i just showed but this one also comes with this maxi skirt with an elasticated waist so super comfy but just so put together i would have to say that this style of dress is one of my favorites ever it's just the type of dress that you can chuck on and you're ready to go you're comfy you're cute it's just perfect i have so many dresses that are kind of this vibe but i don't have any in black and everyone needs a little black dress i feel like even chucking this on over a bikini will be perfect in the summer. Maybe if I'm going out to brunch, but then I wanna to go to the beach after, like this is just the absolute perfect dress for that. And then lastly, this could also be a contender for today. We have a little black matching set. So this is the top. It's kind of like a smock style where it's kind of like tight at the top, but then just flares out. It's just like completely loose. And then matching shorts. I love a matching set. And I feel like Petal and Pop always has such cute ones. It also has this like, actually, I don't know what you'd call this material. Hopefully you get, there you go. You can like see it really well that's like the material of both of the pieces so it just looks really cute i decided to wear the black dress because i felt cute and it's so comfy as well but i am heading out the door because like i mentioned i have lunch with one of my friends the lighting is not amazing but here's my dress and then i just paired it with some black sandals no idea what i'm gonna get for lunch i don't really know what i feel like we're going to a cafe i'm going with my friend jess and her daughter macy i'm so excited her daughter macy is five months old and she is the cutest ever so I'm excited to have a little girls lunch with them. Probably won't feel much, but I'll see you guys after.
for some reason I have this desperate need to open my Sunny right now and I always like to do it on camera because I think it's fun. I love watching them so I, I don't know, I thought I would film it too. I promise that not every video is going to have a Sunny Angel unboxing. I don't know what is going on at the moment. I feel like my last like three videos have had Sunny Angel unboxings in them. That is not a habit I'm trying to start. Like that is not something that's going to be happening in every video. Watch it happen in the next video. But this is the last one that I have and I think I'll wait at least, at least a few weeks before I buy anymore. I literally opened one of these a few days ago and usually I like to spread out when I open them just to spread out that delayed gratification, you know, but I for some reason cannot stop thinking about what is in this box and I just like need to know. So this is an animal series version one. I do have one animal from this series. I have the elephant and there are so many great options in this box. These are our options. Everyone make your guesses. Let me know what you think it's going to be. That's the shake in case that's helpful. Personally, my top picks, I really want a rabbit. I want a rabbit so badly. Like rabbits are my favorite animal. So I want a rabbit very, very, very badly. But I also love the frog. It's so cute. So those are my top two. But then other ones that I would be really happy to get. I love the white bear. I love the koala. The monkey is really cute. The sloth is really cute. I think the only one that I wouldn't really love is the owl. I get so scared saying that because <laughs> what should be the owl? But we'll see. Okay guys, are we ready? You guys can see it first. I don't know what it is. Oh, a little panda. Oh, he's so cute. Why are they all so cute? Oh, he has a mark on his face. Hello? <gasps> Refund. This is our little panda bestie. Do you see how he has a little mark on his face? It's giving, he's got a scar. He's had a, he's had a rough life up until now, but don't you worry, little panda. You are safe. You are safe with me. Time to add him to the shelf. You know, it's like getting to be a problem when I'm not sure if I have that much room for him. Put him next to my little cat. Stop. Oh, I just love them so much. Oh, watch me literally get another one next week. Can't help myself, can I? Still on the hunt for that rabbit. I would either love the, like, rabbit from that box, but there's also, like, a floppy... Or I think it's called a lop ear rabbit, where its ears are, like, down. I also would really love that one. Oh, but they are so cute. So those are, like, at the top of my wish list at the moment. Stop. They're so cutie. I love you all. I am parked on hill, so... Yeah, this is not gonna hold by itself, but I just made it to Noto. I'm meeting Sophia. We're having a little catch-up slash goal-setting, planning kind of thing. We try to do this once a month, but I was away, she was away, so we haven't done it in a while. So it'll be nice to get the routine back today. Last week, I tried one of the new Noto smoothies, which was like the Hailey Bieber dupe kind of situation. And when they brought out that one, they also brought out like a passion fruit something something, and I cannot stop thinking about it. So I think I might try that today. Currently, my thoughts are banana bread bread and smoothie but I also want some sweet potato fries <laughs> such a hard life <laughs> we are going <laughs> okay guys Action. It's, it's called the sunshine state if you're wondering <laughs> I love how I give my you know to reviews it's only in Brisbane this is only relevant for people who live in Brisbane <laughs> too bad so sad if you can't get it <laughs> hey I'm personally really interested it's passion fruit and mango mostly I think mm. coconut yogurt that looks so good sea moss Collagen? Collagen. Oh, it's giving... I'm just a health queen, though. <laughs> it's giving clear, glowing skin. Ooh, bit of passion fruit you just got there. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. <gasps> Better than the strawberry? I think it's a bit more my vibe. Okay. I think I like, like, mango passion fruit more than, like, strawberry. Yeah. You try? Okay. That is summer. Yes, I was about to say, in summer, on a hot day, Oh my gosh, I love it. Imagine this like after a beach day. Yeah. <gasps> That's really good. It's really it's good. It's really good. I wish you could have tried the other one. I know. I'll Do you think you'll like point. it? I think so. You liked the Hailey Bieber one, didn't loved you? The Bieber. I wonder how it would compare because I haven't tried it. I want to try Little Florence and this one. Yeah. So yeah. It's pretty similar. Yeah, I would like assume so. So I've just got a matcha. Do you know what it's called? Oh, I don't, but it's made on coconut water. Coconut water instead of milk. Yes. I'm a bit scared, but... It's a bit of a risk. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, they look fire. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, got distracted. Are you smelling it? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what is going on there? I also got some milk just in case it's like a bit too much. But I guess this can be the equivalent of like a long black. Yeah. Like yeah. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay. 
yum. <gasps> it's really nice because sometimes you don't want like a whole thing of milk. If yeah. You cool. Are you gonna try making that at home now? Yeah. Like how good that would that be with like coconut water, but just like with your homemade matcha for summer? Again. She's found a new fave. That's so good. Like, I'm would you order that again? Yeah, definitely. That's so good. That's fire. We have two wins today. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Friday. I am about to do a load of laundry, but I need to get this thing downstairs and that is always a challenge. Kind of just drag it, to be honest. Doom, doom, doom. Oh my gosh. Ah! Please don't fall over. Nice. Today's a fun day. Liam and I are heading away for the weekend with his family, which I'm really excited about. But before we go away, there are some jobs that need to be done, including the washing. The main things I really don't want to forget is washing, grocery shopping, and packing. Those are the main things. I'm about to write a grocery list. We don't need too much. Basically, like I mentioned, we're going away for the weekend with Liam's family and each sibling, I guess, <laughs> is in charge of one meal. So Liam and I are doing tomorrow's breakfast. Either his brother or sister is doing lunch, his parents are doing dinner, like that kind of vibe. So because we're doing breakfast, I need to pick up the stuff that we're gonna bring, you know? So we thought we need bacon, eggs. I'm gonna try and get some sourdough and then also just like a loaf of bread in case people aren't into sourdough. I already picked up some avocado yesterday because I wanted to make sure they were going to be ripe for this weekend. Oh, fruit. That's like the other thing. I'm thinking like a fruit platter and then people can just do like bacon and eggs. Do I do hash browns? So then people can either have like bacon and eggs or bacon and egg sandwiches or avocado on toast or a combination of whatever they want and just like a bunch of fruit. Like simple but like classic, you know? Is that everything then? Hash browns, bread, sourdough, eggs, fruit, bacon. I don't want to go overboard because I tend to do that when we like host. I was like, we could do bacon bagels and we could do like croissants and we could do and Liam's like chill we don't need to do all that and I'm like so true we could do yogurt though yogurt and muesli maybe I'll also get yogurt and muesli and then we already have fruit if they want to add that okay I need to stop because otherwise I will get too much the other issue with stuff like this is like how many people are going two four six eight eight how do you feed eight people like how many eggs do I buy do you know what I mean like that sort of stuff always I always get a bit confused with that. Like how many loaves of bread? Just one? One sourdough, one normal? What if everyone wants sourdough? You know what I mean? Like this is the this this is the struggle I have. We'll just wing it. It's 8 a.m. right now. I also just want to try and clean the house and make sure it's like pretty good by the time we leave, just so that we come home to a clean house on Sunday, because I feel like that will be busy enough. Like Sunday afternoon will be busy enough trying to prep for the week ahead without having to like worry about that sort of stuff. Also, guys, I started crocheting a new project. Do you guys want to see? Well, I'm gonna show you anyway. I started this last night. How cool is this? It kind of looks like a snowflake at the moment. <gasps> Oh my gosh, maybe I should make a bunch of snowflakes, like crochet snowflakes around Christmas time as decor. That could be so fun. Anyway, this is the start of what should be a star blanket. I think I've only done how many rounds? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six rounds. So I'm obviously at the very start. I don't know how big I'm going to make it. This might, if I can get this to be cute, this might be a gift. If it's not very cute, then I might keep it for myself. But so far, so good. I'm following, if you look up, six day star blanket i'm not doing it in six days it'll probably take me a lot longer but if you look up six day star blanket like that's the the pattern that i'm following i've actually never followed a pattern like a written pattern i just follow youtube tutorials like every single thing i've learned about crochet every single stitch every single thing i've made has come from a youtube video or just like me winging it like me trying to figure it out for myself should i learn how to read written patterns absolutely i should but do i just prefer watching a video Yes, yes I do. I do also have some clean washing that needs to be put away. So I might go do that, then we'll go grocery shopping and we'll just see where the day takes us from there. Pretty crazy stuff going on. Now 
I'm gonna go do this grocery shopping. Shopping done. We have sourdough bread. The one from Woolworths is significantly better than any of the ones I have from Coles. Not sure why, but I love it. We have eggs. We have muesli, bacon, yogurt. I decided not to get hash browns. Another loaf of bread. And then we just have some fruit. So we have some grapes, blueberries, raspberries. These look so good. Strawberries, passion fruit and kiwi fruit. And some watermelon and that's everything i'm gonna pop this in the fridge for now because we don't leave for a while actually i lied that's not everything i also got some energy drinks i don't know if this sounds like silly or not but if you're an introvert and you're going on a trip where you're going to be socializing a lot <laughs> Energy drinks are your best friend. Liam and I are both huge introverts. And so we find it very helpful to either just, you know, have some coffee with us, have some energy drinks with us. And we have both been really loving these Oxy Shred ones. Liam introduced me to this flavor. It's kiwi strawberry and it's so good. I unfortunately love energy drinks. Like I love how they taste. I love the way they make me feel. Like I love the burst of energy, but I try not to have them very often because obviously I don't think they're great to have super often. Like I don't want to be drinking these every day. So I try only to have them occasionally. So I got two of these ones because I know Liam and I both like this flavor. And then I got two new flavors to try. This one is Voodoo Blackberry. I'm assuming it's kind of like their version of like the Alani new Halloween flavor that Alani does. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know how Alani does, is it Witch's Brew or something around Halloween? So I assume it's like their version of trying to be festive like that, but it's Blackberry and that just sounded good. And then this one is Lychee Burst. So I got these and Liam can have one, I can have one. And then obviously I got two of the kiwi strawberries. So Liam can have one, I can have one. And he can just choose whichever flavor sounds better to him. But I need to put this away. It was honestly just like the best weekend. It was so nice. I barely touched my phone. Obviously, I got a couple clips for you guys, but really not much. It was just lots of like walks, hanging out, chatting, playing some board games. We played some new ones that I hadn't played before, which was so fun. Lots of food, just good quality time with family. I don't know if I've mentioned it. Liam and I became uncle and aunties this year. We got our first little nephew and he is just the light of literally our whole family's lives. He is the first grandchild on Liam's side, but also like we don't have any grandchildren on my side either, or, like any nephews or nieces on my side. So it's safe to say that everyone is utterly obsessed with this little baby boy and me included. So I was soaking up every minute that I could spend with this little baby boy. But obviously we're home now and it'll be a new week tomorrow. So I'm gonna end off this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me this week. I feel like it was a pretty homey week. Not a crazy amount going on, but that's just the reality of it. So I hope you guys didn't mind it. But I guess I'll see you guys in my next video very soon. Goodbye.